guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing great i am so happy you're here so today i'm going to be showing you how to make a mini skirt and i made mine out of an old t-shirt i went through my closet and i was like hold up i don't have a cute mini skirt to wear with tights and boots and a coat to look cute so i'm gonna make one and this t-shirt just came through the pattern is so cute and this is a skirt i made this skirt ate and left no crumbs baby it hugs me in all the right places i love the pattern it's so cute it fits me so well and i'm so excited to wear it out so i'm going to show you how to make one of your own and you can be cute just like me so starting off i'm using a skirt i have as a template and i know you might be thinking I don't have a skirt and that's why I'm making a skirt. Relax, okay? Relax, Jessica. Just take a dress you have and use the bottom half as your template and you will have a skirt. So I traced out my shape, but at the top I left a two inch seam allowance because I was going to add in a waistband and I wanted that to be accommodated. And at the bottom I left two and a half inches because I wanted the skirt I was making to be slightly longer than this one. I was adding variety to my closet and that's the beauty of making your own clothes you can just adjust them and make them however you want so once you have your shape drawn out you're going to get rid of the skirt she's not coming back into your life so you better block her number right this minute and what I'm doing now is I'm just pinning the fabrics together and this is essential because when you're cutting you don't want the fabric to be slipping and sliding and testing you like Jesus was tested in the desert okay you want this fabric to behave so what you're going to do is just pin all the way around and once the fabric is pinned and in place you're going to cut out your beautiful skirt shape and once you have your skirt shape you are now good to go so you're now going to sew along the sides why does my voice keep breaking like a teenage boy's voice I have no idea but at the sewing machine I'm just sewing a stretch stitch you can also use a zigzag stitch or a triple straight stitch it's up to you baby the options are there you just don't don't settle before you've seen all that is out there actually if you find a good one if you find a good stitch stick beside her okay so once the stretch stitch was sewn on both sides my skirt is almost done and actually you can just stop here and you're done with your skirt but I wanted to be extra I wanted to add in a waistband and this is mostly just to add a bit of structure to the waist of my skirt and I'm just extra like that so all I'm doing is I'm folding in the fabric by two inches actually by an inch but it's on a fold so it's two inches and I'm just pinning along the bottom edge and I'm going to repeat this all around the top of my skirt and once everything is nice and pinned you are good to go so I made sure to slant some pins vertically because I wanted to know that that's why I need to leave a gap and there she is that's why I'm gonna insert my elastic through so make sure you leave this gap otherwise you will cry yourself to sleep at night I know you already do that but just for for change let's just follow instructions so now I'm going to sew along the bottom edge where I pinned and I'm using a triple straight stitch and in case you are lost you don't know what this is a triple straight stitch is basically this stitch and it sews forward twice and then backwards once and it's very secure it allows for stretch and it looks like a straight stitch so it is everything you need in a stitch and even more you know she gives you the full package so I did my triple straight stitch all around and made sure to leave my gap and once that was nice and sewn I'm going to show you what that looks like because I am that kind of person and as you can see it allows for stretch you want someone who allows you to be who you are and at this point I'm going to measure a piece of elastic around my waist I made sure it was quite snug and I cut that out and I'm going to take that piece of elastic and two safety pins and use the safety pins to guide the elastic through the casing so with a safety pin attached to one end of my elastic I pinned that to my skirt and then used the other safety pin on the other side to guide my elastic through my casing so this is super simple to do it literally took me two minutes because the fabric is really light and it's easy to just glide the elastic through you can do this as you watch squid game and get grossed out by all the violence and you cannot sleep for nights on end but that is exactly the emotional torture you subject yourself to because 
because you do not know why you do these things. So once the elastic comes out the other end, I'm just going to pull her out. She needs to be who she is. And the ends of the elastic are going to be sewn together using a zigzag stitch just to make sure they stick beside each other. And once I was done, I pushed the elastic back in, so the gap shut, and I had my brand new mini skirt, and I love it. This took me 30 minutes to make, and I was filming this. You can probably do this in 10 minutes and be out the door. Those children screaming outside are a natural contraceptive right now. Like, I am so over this. Anyway, my mini skirt is now done, and I am ready to wear it to my numerous adventures, which involve going to the couch to binge watch Squid Game and finish it but whatever you decide to do in your mini skirt I hope you have fun in it and please do try make this I promise you it's super simple to do and you will have a closet full of mini skirts in literally like two hours you can make 200 of them in two hours anyway I hope you guys enjoy this quick video and see you in my next one bye